Hey guys, um, sorry for like basically not being around for the past couple of days. I was a little distracted with life essentially. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with this particular video. Now keep in mind, it's probably going to be a five, six minute video simply because I'm in the car waiting for it to warm up. I just got off of work. Um, so that's, you know, that's life. Uh, so as you can see here, it is the mist tuning and uh, the fifth, fourth, fifth Mizukage. Um, events. Yeah, it's the May Terumi May event. So as you can see here, um, it's actually something a little more interesting in my opinion. It's the Reborn Mist tuning event. So it's basically Chojiro's Reborn event. Um, what I find interesting is basically that he's going Reborn. And the thing that's very interesting about that is because um, the Mizukage um, May Terumi already went Reborn. So I mean, if you have their combination card, which keep in mind is fairly cheap, all things considered, once again, relatively speaking, it's not cheap, but relatively um you're actually looking at a very powerful card for a relatively small cost not only that to be honest the only thing holding back that particular combination card um if you have the tier five items at the very least um the only thing holding that particular card back is quite honestly the cp because um its dodgeability is stupidly amazing it's uh it's passives pretty op in my opinion um not only that but the act the uh item skills for like the mizukage in combination with chojiro and all that crap like it's stupidly powerful this is essentially what i'm trying to say um i remember even i used to have trouble with it when i used to go up against like non-stop um hokage and well the, when they were like the top two um i used to have a lot of trouble with it i had to literally quite um make my team into something that could be able to take that particular combination card on because it had so much dodge that i had to make my like my Ob obito um i had to make them have like a stupid amount of uh hits same thing for my combination card uh with obito and kakashi so um it's a very effective card essentially is what i'm trying to say now the event itself is a little more interesting too because there is a new card um it's called um ao aisle yeah um, point is, it's a new card, and you can get it only through recharging. Um, as far as I know, it's a reinforcement, and it's also going to be part of the... Um, right, right over here, let me go ahead and open it. If this thing would load, let me take off the Wi-Fi, actually. I should make it faster. Um, but as I was saying, it's actually part of the collections for the Mizukage and for the... Um, for Chojiro. So people who have that particular collection right now don't rely on it too much unless you're willing to recharge, as you can see here. Um, this is the new one that's going to come up. It's uh, IO. And basically, you recharge for it. It's as far as I can tell. It might turn out to be a reinforcement for the Mizukage or Chojiro or even both. Um, but yeah, so this is essentially going to be the new um, collection, and this is the old one, basically. And ironically enough, they actually nerfed it, as far as I can tell, because um, this one gives 30k HP, whereas the other one gave 50k HP. A little more dodge, but. Apart from that, they nerfed that particular collection. If they're going to have both of them, well, I mean, this is just a nice collection that you can get. Um, how much is he going to cost? Um, if you recharge today, or, well, any day, honestly, um, as long as this event's open. If you recharge um, any one of these days, um, that's not the Reborn event day, essentially. Um, you're going to get seven IOs if you recharge um, 3,100, which is essentially 100 gold. I mean, $100 if you're in the U.S. I'm not quite sure what the other currency may be. But, um, yeah, so you're going to get all that. Not only that, you're also going to get, like, the combination card. Or at least most of it. Is for, yeah, you're going to get the combination card. A bunch of Tier 5 items. Secondary passive for um, the Mizukage. Secondary passive for Chojiro. A bunch of shit, essentially. I mean, this is a fairly good um, event to recharge for your first time. Especially if you're a new player. Because, I mean, the Mizukage herself, um, you're not going to get her to, to gold um, or even probably bronze or silver. But she is still fairly powerful even at that point if you have her items. Um, keep in mind, once again, though, you are going to have to recharge for Ao um, if you want him. There is a reward for him if you do get him to, like, diamond and all that crap. Um, and it's right over here. He has a bunch of items, by the way, also. Like, that's something I should mention. Um, but as you can see, this is what you're going to get. Um, bronze, Toe Teach times 30. Level 6 build scroll package, fairly basic. Silver, Toe Teach times 20. Bloodline stone times 100. Again, fairly basic. A little more rare, but still fairly, fairly basic, fairly um, common. And then if you have him gold, you're going to get a tier 3 item of his, which is the IO robe. The A-O. 
Ayo, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. Um, if somebody could tell me in the comments, that would be awesome. Um, and then if you get a, if you get him to diamond, you're gonna get a Kirikage revival times 100, which is nice. I mean, I guess I have way too many personally. Um, not only that, if you do um, any of the trials today, well, for the next couple of days, um, you're gonna get some packages, and if you open up those packages, you're gonna get a chance to get some Trujito fragments. So Trujito is a fairly good card to get for free um, with those packages. So yeah, I mean, you should easily be able to get like a silver Trujito at the very least because those fragments are stupidly just like really, really common. The only reason a Trujito is rather rare is simply because the event only comes along every like six, seven months. It's been a while since the last one. Um, the consumption itself, once again, is just fairly basic. It's just stuff for, like, the Mizukage. Although the items for Ao or uh, um, whatever you want to call them, don't appear to be there, actually. Okay, yeah, they're here. They're, um, so at 12K, you're going to get the Ao Feet Mark, uh, the Ninja Sword Fragment, the Will of the Mizukage, um, Ao Headband. So that's two items. Ao Robe, three items. Yeah, it looks like only three, three items. Also, quick, quick quick thing i have to say um if you're gonna get any items during this event try to get up to 5k consumption i mean 4k consumption because let me tell you something the long boots are stupidly overpowered they are the most powerful item for dodge in the game as far as i know um to give you an idea these are my long boots and these are tier 4 obviously but as you can see level 1 uh level 120 tier 4 it gives you 181k dodge and as far as i know that is like the most dodge you can get um on an item well uh for that level at the very least like obviously you can polish other items but that is really the best item for the leg slot um for dodge so if you can get it i would highly recommend it it's gonna have make a lot of the um dungeons a lot easier like if you can't get hit you can't die and then at that point you really only have to worry about you know doing enough damage and stuff like that obviously you can only put it on one guy but i mean if you save up enough time over time whenever it comes up again you can get it and you can have multiple of these um the mizukage itself if you're going to recharge for her be prepared to drop quite a bit of money because um she's not cheap by any means of the word um just to give you an idea let me go ahead and do this just to get one of her if you want to get one of her let me find it if you want to get one of her through just normal recharge um you essentially have to recharge, let's see, you get 10 fragments at 500, another 10 at 1,000, uh, another 10 at 1,100, another 30 at, at 30 fragments <laughs> at 3,100. So at $100, you're only getting like 50 fragments for the Mizukage, which is pretty shitty in my opinion. Um, and then like at 5k gold, 45 fragments. Um, at 10k, you you only get like two Mizukages, Terumi Mei's. So, I mean, that should just give you an idea of just how, like, pricey she is, essentially. There's obviously other ways to get her. Um, if you do a gold tundra, you're going to get, like, 20 fragments. If you do um, consumption, if you recharge twice in one day, um, not twice in one day, uh, two times uh, in two separate days, just, like, one today and then one tomorrow if, for 1,000 gold or 1,900. I'm not quite sure. I'll look it up in a second. You're going to get the Mizukage. Um just one her purple card you're gonna you can get some fragments through consumption you can obviously get her through um through uh once again consumption but either way that's a very hefty price essentially um it's like 30k for a free mizukage like full card so yeah i mean very very pricey um Chargido, on the other hand fairly basic to be honest he's cheap um you just have to do the trials um just like here just to give you an idea i got like extra um, okay, there we go. You get like the seven ninja uh, treasure deposits. Open them, you're gonna get a lot of fragments. Don't even worry about that. Um, another thing that's up right now, um, this particular event is up. It's really good for um, like if you want to get the Taiga Ya uh, skill um, that I mentioned uh, two or three videos ago. Really useful skill. Um, so yeah, my car's warm, warmed up enough and I kind of want to head home. So that's going to be about it for this video. I, I'd say it's a fairly long video, um, considering the circumstances. So, um, leave a like, I guess, uh, I'll post another video tomorrow, just covering some other stuff. I'm not quite sure what the idea is going to be, but do be prepared not to have a video simply because like I said, life is just kind of catching up to me. Um, so yeah, um, love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.